I can win over the affection of those in my life that were left, what was the point? What was the goddamn point? What is the goddamn point of it? I've been playing this for way too long. Hey there. Today we're playing some Please Come to My Christmas Party. It's about a little guy who needs to invite some friends to their Christmas party. So, oh, from what I understand, oh, I need to jump over things. I gotta get as many people to show up as I can to my party. Otherwise, he's gonna be friendless on Christmas, and that would be sad. Oh. <laughs> Don't give up. Okay, okay, we got it this time, we got it. We know how this works now. Running in the snow. Can I hold it to like, I can't double jump? No, I just, I don't want him to be a loner. Is that too much to ask? Or am I just like super bad at this? Oh, I can duck. Oh, I broke the game, whoopsie. I was just a little guy, running on Christmas Eve. Running away from my problems, it seemed. Oops. I normally run into sides on Christmas. It's one of my bad habits. And ever since that one Christmas, I'd always been alone. Since Patricia left, things had just been different. once looked at a Christmas present the same again. Oh, hello. Having a good day, son. No, sir, I was just talking about my lost love. Wow, thank you so much. You made my day, son. See you soon. I made it to one person, finally. It seemed I wasn't going to be alone this Christmas. Not like last year. Not like since Patricia left. Things would be different this time. Now that old man Jenkins was coming. But he was kind of a weird guy. Oops. <laughs> oh, and I guess old man Jenkins. Oh no, he came and played piano! Nice. So he wasn't quite alone. Where was I? You see, back in the day, I used to be what some would call a detective. Patricia loved me for it. But it was when I retired and threw in the old towel. That's when things got bad. You see, us, us machinery, we, we don't have a very long uh, lifespan, they say. But I said I wanted to spend those years with Patricia. Obviously, she didn't want to spend them with me. She'd rather spend her days with a bank machine, it would seem. She was one of those kinds of people. So I just keep going along my merry way, in a not so very merry way. Wait, what? She was beautiful. The most beautiful thing I had seen. Here, take my invitation. Wow. I hope, uh, I hope I see that lavender beauty again. She was the most beautiful thing I'd seen since Patricia. But how would I get her to notice me? That was the real question. The answer clearly lied in Christmas. As it always does. Sometimes you gotta Christmas away your problems. Oh damn. Hey there, Toaster. <laughs> I don't know if he, it's a, like a, he's a TV. I think it's a TV. God damn it. Can't be having mistakes this early in the game. That's what Patricia always used to tell me. She used to call me a mistake a lot. Telling me I was outdated. I guess that's why she left for the bank machine. She wanted a newer model, she said. She wanted me to be different. She wanted me to upgrade. But that's just not my style. I'm all about the vintage. I'm all about the old. I didn't want to change. But maybe that was one of my faults. Maybe Patricia is just better off without me. And 
that's why I'll just skirt skirt my way in the snow. Hey there, shiny boy. Are you monologuing again? Oh, gee, thanks for the invitation, weird guy. See you later. Yeah, he was right. I was monologuing again. It seems to be what I do quite often. Maybe that's why I don't have very many friends. Maybe that's why I don't have many people to invite to my party. Maybe that's why Patricia left. Oops. Or maybe it's because I run into presents too often. There are a lot of questions that would never be answered. At least, not this Christmas. Or even the next. Would I ever get answers? Would Patricia ever tell me what she really meant when she said I was outdated? Was it truly that I was unwilling to change? Or is it just that she was tired of me? Oh, we did. As I stared at that old man's face, I wondered. Humans become outdated all the time. But that doesn't mean they're thrown away for a new model, does it? But old man Jenkins told me otherwise. He said his family never comes to visit him. And that's why he's alone on Christmas. So maybe humans really do throw away their outdated models. Snow, the holidays had always been a lonely time for me. But nothing was like this year. This year just felt different. Hey, old man. I'll see you in another life. Or maybe this one, who knows. There had to be a way for Christmas to be less miserable. There had to be. But the only way to do that, according to television at least, was to spend it with those you cared about. And those who cared about me and that I cared about, they didn't seem to want to spend it with me. I don't know if that sentence even sentenced, but Regardless, people just didn't want to spend their time with an old, rusted up, no good TV, or whatever I'm supposed to be. But I'm pretty sure it's a TV. Patricia, is that you? Hi there, little one. How are you? What? For me? Christmas party invitation? Of course. I'll go. See you there, little one. What are the odds that I'd run into Patricia? Just out on the street. And that she'd accept my invitation? Why? I thought she traded me in. I thought she never wanted to see me again. I thought she needed a newer model. Oh. <laughs> well, she helped decorate the tree. The weird cat stared at me. I stared back at the weird cat. Meow. Meow, meow. He seemed thrilled by my invitation. Oh? I guess I... Did you get home? <laughs> I don't know. What happened? Did I get to the end or something? Once you meet the cat, it's just game over. You don't need anybody else at your party. There she was again. Staring at me. I wondered why she accepted my invitation. Without hesitation. Without question. It was odd to me. I hadn't heard from her in, well, at least a year. So why now? Why on Christmas? Is it because she wanted presents? Or is it because she wanted my presents? I can never be sure. Is this the same person I knew a year ago? Or is it someone completely different? I know I had changed in that time. 
but it wasn't for the better. And then there was the new girl in my life. The Lavender Toaster. What more could you ask for? Smart. Kind. Just overall pleasant to be around. Trustworthy as well. And reliable. As toasters be. Oops. That's what I get for generalizing. I have been burned by toasters before, but she was different. That beautiful lavender color said so. And even though she didn't express it with words, I could tell. Oh my God. I'm a rat, Squeak. Are you, are you sure? Christmas party? Thank you, Squeak. See you tonight, Squeak Squeak. Um... Can I only have, like, three guests at my party? I'm gonna try and not get hit. Oh, I see how this works. I only get so many invitations. That actually took me way too long to figure out. I get as many invitations as as many times I get hit. Gotcha. So I gotta get not hit to get more invitations and get more people at my party. Understand. It's always seems that as it came to Christmas. Things just got gloomier and gloomier around town. At least for me. Everyone else was so cheerful, but I... I just wasn't. can't say I had a good reason for it. Ah, I lost my favorite. That's what my reason was. But there she was again, in my darkest hour. Goodbye, Lavender the Toaster. I hope to see you at my Christmas party. And if I don't, I'll never have another party again. <laughs> That's what my monologue said, at least. Well, hello, rat. Thanks for taking my invitation. Now I asked myself, why would you invite a literal rat to your Christmas party? But I had to remember what old Pop used to say. Don't judge a book by its cover. Just because he looks like a rat doesn't mean he is one. In a personality sense, not in a very literal sense. Because in a very literal sense, he was a rat. But that really didn't matter to me. Not on Christmas, anyway. Things were different. People were cheerful. People were happy. Hey, old man. We got the old man playing the piano. We got Patricia in the corner. A new toaster and the rat. Alright, so that's a four. I feel like I've hit my goal. So he's finally got a good Christmas party. Will little guy mend things with Patricia? Or will he take a new shot on love with the toaster? Who knows? I hope you enjoyed this game. It was pretty cute, pretty fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Christmas time And I'm wondering why The TV's been slow It's Christmas time And people are Doing the thing On Christmas time Christmas Eve Let's give it a little bow Jumping in the snow